Welcome to our latest Camper King video. He's Paul. She's Soph. And today we're going to be taking a look at not just one van, but this lovely lineup of vans. Quite right, because depending on what you want your van to do, really depends on the kind of van that you need to buy. So today we're going to talk you through all of them and find out which is the best one for you. If you're looking for a van to work with, it doesn't really get any better than the Volkswagen Transporter because this thing has been the stuff of legend for decades. Anyone with a trade or business, wherever it is you need to carry, wherever it is you need to move, it will fit in the back and you can take two workmates or drop two kids at school. If you're working, it's everything you need. But is it everything you need though for your life? There's a big question because it might be great for work, it might be great for dropping the kids off, but what happens if you go, do you know what, I wanna go away this weekend I want to go away overnight. You sleep in the mattress in the back. Is it going to be that comfortable though? No. Not comfortable, could be quite nippy depending on the time of year, you're not going to be able to do your cooking. It's not perfect is it? Could we do better do you think? Well vans are good at vanning but they're not much good at much else. Not good at life. It's true. You need a nice all-rounder, come on. So let's talk about then the evolution of the panel van, also known as the combi the combi conversion, or this, the luxurious Caravelle. Now, it's obviously very luxurious, this particular one. Can take your passengers around in style, can't it? Lots of people, friends, family, colleagues, airport run. Yeah, it is good for the airport run, but it's not very good at anything else. And the seats do come out, but they're very heavy and you have to leave them somewhere. But the problem with this is if you do that, you can take everything out, you can use it as a van, but then, you're sleeping on a mattress, you haven't got any electricity, you haven't got hookup, you haven't even got any curtains. It's a lovely thing for the airport run, but you wouldn't want to live in it. Not quite there, is it? No. Now this really is the evolution of van. This is a Camper King camper van conversion. And this is probably the only vehicle you'll ever need because you can sleep in it, you can live in it, you can cook in it, you can refrigerate things in it, you can charge things in it. All that living space, all that sleeping space, but because it's still the size of a standard short wheelbase van, you can use it to drive every day, drop the kids at school and there's seating for you and five passengers. There you go, van problems solved in one beautifully formed package. It sounds perfect, and I'm sure it will be for 99% of people, but if you need to use your van during the week for work, where you need to get your tools in, go to cash and carry, get your equipment in, is it going to have enough space for everyone? It's true, the only thing this can't do anymore, I suppose, is be a van. If only there was a vehicle that combined the very best elements of all three. Now that would be perfect. Do you think it exists? Do you know what? It does, and it's called the Pursuit. So here it is, and this really is the evolution of van, and it really is the answer to the question that nobody thought to ask before, which is why can't I have everything? Why can't I have a van that's also a people carrier, that's also an incredibly comfortable and luxurious camper van? Why can't I have that in one vehicle? The great news is now you can, because the Pursuit really does have it all. Thanks to years of development, with the Pursuit now available as a two or a four, which we're going to look at in further detail in a moment, you've got endless possibilities, endless configurations, endless accessories. It really does do everything you could possibly dream of. This isn't just a new type of camper van. This is a new category of camper van, and we've got a lot to go through. This really is a piece of sheer genius, isn't it? You're thinking about it, you know, if you want to buy a van, whether it's for work or a camper, they're 50, 60, 70 grand, aren't they, per van? Yeah. And obviously what we were looking at earlier on, you might need more than one, you know, you might need a van for work, a van for pleasure. This does it all, doesn't but it's it? It's the versatility for me, that's the thing. It's the way that they've hidden everything. So normally with a van, like where would you put your plugs, your USBs, mm -hmm. your control panel? It's all hidden in the cavity of the wall. So this, your, your plugs, that, your heat control, little door there, look, yep. for your fuses. But everywhere you look, there's tracking. So there's two sets of tracking on the floor. One set is for the bed, so it can slide forward. The other set is for jump seats, so they can go absolutely anywhere you want or take the whole lot out. And then you've got a massive van, even if you've got a short wheelbase. And even if you've got a full-size motocross bike, you can put the seat all the way forward get the bike in the bag. Whatever you want to put in this van, it will take. We've even got tracking on the inside here, and they've got tables come in, modular storage units, and then on the outside, you've got bike racks, oh, you name it, washing lines, stuff to put your surfboards. It just blows my mind. It's the ultimate in flexibility, isn't it? I mean, there is as well. I've just got to touch on this one. You know those jump seats? Yeah. There's no other vans with them. None. It's true, because this seat's eight. Yes. Pretty sure that's the only Volkswagen Transporter you can get in short wheelbase or in any wheelbase 
that seats eight people. So if you've got six kids or a lot of friends or four kids and two grandparents, you can all go. Now, as well as having a lot of space to kind of move around in, carry different passengers, something else which is really great that I love is you get a full-size bed in here because there's nothing taking up all of this space that you'd have in a conventional camper. Even though you've mentioned you can kind of have add-ons that are coming in the future, tables, maybe storage, things like that, but it's such a comfy place to be able to sleep and you can still get all of your kit in the back there. I know. The other thing as well, so here's the question then, this is a difficult one, would you go for a Pursuit 2 which is what this is, that gives you like the standard roof, mm. but then you get the roof tent, we need to talk about that, or would you go for a Pursuit 4 with a pop-up top? So in seconds on the four, you've got a four berth, and I'm talking seconds, or would your inner nine-year-old want a roof tent, because I want a roof tent? Oh, I'm in a nine-year-old, I want a roof tent, it looks cool. Looks like we're on safari. It's a game changer. Well. Not just that as well, Remember, there's a 60 litre tank in this for water. Yeah. If you want to carry additional water or anything else, you can pop it on the roof as well, can't you? Well, that's a good point, because it's got a water heater. So mm -hmm. you can either have a shower yourself, you can wash your bike off, wash your paddleboard off, wash all the salt or chlorine out of your swimming cozies, whatever it is. This does everything. This, this is crazy because you've got all this space, but this does way more than some camper vans do. If you're thinking of a van, if you're thinking of a combi or a caravel, or you're thinking of a camper van, just buy one of these. It's a complete game changer. That is literally it in a nutshell. It is a game changer because even small things like that shower being heated, how hard is it trying to get mud off a bike? And also the fact yeah. that you can sit down and have a hot shower. You know, if you come from a cold ride or a cold swim and you can warm yourself up with a shower at the back of your van. And the other thing is most of the hot water heaters in vans require electrical hookup. This is all completely freestanding. This was designed to be off grid with whatever you're doing. So you could be on a beach with your surfboard, having a red hot shower and then a cup of tea and then a snooze all in the one van the dream. This is literally living the dream in action. It's a very, very clever design in this. Should we go for a drive? Yeah, come on, let's go. Let's hit the road. Can I drive? No, I'm driving today. You always drive. I like driving. It's safer than you're driving. Come I'm a, on. I'm a great driver. <laughs> a really great driver. <laughs> Made for double duty, the pursuit is your work vehicle during the week and your adventure van at weekends. Available as a long or short wheelbase and either a two berth with optional roof tent as a full four berth pop top, you can configure your pursuit precisely to fit your life. And being based on the wonderful Volkswagen Transporter, whichever one you go for, it will be an absolute peach to drive. You no longer need to choose between the perfect work van and the perfect getaway vehicle. The pursuit does both so brilliantly, it's the only van you'll ever need.